All right, now in order to solve this problem, uh, we could use a log, any log we want with any base, okay? Um, let's, say, let's say we use log base 2 or log base 3. Which one would you guys rather do, log base 2 or log base 3? Two. 2. Now, on the board, I see the 2 that you guys worked on. You guys didn't use log base 2 or log base 3. You used log base 10, which also works. So um, let me show you guys. Let's see, we got log base 2 because that's what you said. Let's do log base 2 of both sides. So I got that, and I'm going to do log base 2 of this side as well. All right, let's see what happens. I drop my powers, or my exponents, that are inside the log. So I have x plus 1 out in front now, multiplying to the log. Don't forget your parentheses. And I'm going to drop this one, 1 minus x out in front of this log. Don't forget your parentheses. Now I have a log base 2 of 2. Do you guys know what log base 2 of 2 equals? Yeah. Uno. Uno. Oh, sorry. So I have 1 plus <laughs> x, x plus 1, and then uno, and then equals 1 minus x times log base 2 of 3. Huh. Okay. Now, our goal is to get x's alone. All right. Uh, now, I'm not going to do M, but M is similar to, to L right here. Let me get rid of M. <clears throat> so I have an X plus 1 on the left side. On the right side, I'm going to distribute this log. Now, this is kind of weird. You're not multiplying the 3 to anything. You're multiplying the log to those two numbers, uh, the 1 and the negative X. So 1 times log is just going to be log <coughs> base 2 of 3. And then I have negative x times log, so we got negative x, log base 2 of 3. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Now these terms can be moved to the left or to the right just using addition or subtraction. Our goal is to get the x's alone. And so there's two terms that have an x. I want those terms on the same side. And then I want the other terms on the other side. So here's another term, here's the other term. I want those on the other side. So let's first move the 1 over. If I subtract 1, and then I subtract 1, this is what I got so far. Now x is all by himself on the left, but not for long because i got to move this guy over to the other side. So I'm going to add x log base 2 of 3 to both sides. And now I have x... Uh, plus x log base 2 of 3 equals log base 2 of 3 minus 1. I think that is the most unfamiliar, hardest part about this problem. Is distributing this log to these and then getting all the x terms on one side and all the non-x terms on the other side. That's weird. The rest of it, I don't think is that bad. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out an x right here. So if I take an x out of this, what would that be? What is x divided by x? One. Yeah, this is 1. And then what would I get when I divide that by x? Log base 2 of 3. Yeah, there would just be no more x right there. So now we have x times 1 plus log base 2 of 3 equals log base 2 of 3 minus 1. Alright, so now that this nasty thing right here is multiplying the x, so how do I get x alone? Divide. Yeah, divide. Okay, I'm going to write my final answer up here. x equals log base 2 of 3 minus 1 divided by whatever is multiplying to the x, so I can get it alone, 1 plus log base 2 of 3. Now this answer is awesome. Fine and dandy, great. Okay, now if you didn't use log base 2, and instead you used log base 3, it'll just look a little different than this one. But let's say you used log base 10, like you used a regular log to do it. Oh, excuse me. If you use the regular log to do it, everything that I did, you will also do. Uh, except you're going to have to distribute a log twice, because this log won't go away. 
But then you still want all the X logs on one side and all the, uh, the other logs that don't have an X on the other side. And this is what your answer would look like. Um, in order to make my answer look like what your answer would be, I'm going to have to take what we got and do the change of base with each log. So log of 3 over log of 2 minus 1. They have 1 plus log of 3 over log of 2. And then I would multiply the top and I'd multiply the bottom by log 2. Whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom, and I'm not breaking any algebra laws. So this would be gone, and then 1 times log of 2 is just log of 2, so we have log of 3 minus log of 2. On the bottom, this log of 2 will cancel out, and 1 times log of 2 is just log of 2, so I have log of 2 plus log of 3. This would be your answer if you did not use a log base 2, but instead just use a log base 10.